Um, unfortunately, that. with me working, and it's 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 something because my business of being a hairdresser is just my passion. And I married into polygyny and um, I was the third wife and oh, things wow. were fine. Things were fine for mm-hmm. me anyway. Yeah, you know, yeah. You oh, well, a couple of days. Because you're a busy you woman. Come, it's easier for you. Exactly. Yeah. But the type of brother that my ex-husband is, when he needs you, he needs you. And with me, it's hard. You know, if I have a client, I can't just stop because this is a, this is a bit a built business. This yeah. is not something that I'm just starting to do. So, you know, mashallah, you know, we, um, we parted ways, but we still uh, co-parent our children mm-hmm. and um, on sit downs and everything else. It's like, that's the first thing. Do you have a problem with my business? If you have a problem, it's, it's a female, it's a all female business. I don't work in a salon every day. Mm-hmm. You know, when, when I was married and my husband asked me, you know, if it's a, a lecture at the masjid and he says, Somalia, I need you to be at the masjid by four o'clock. Okay, the last person I took was at 12 because I got to be at the masjid. That's not the problem. Yeah. But sometimes what women don't understand is that, but when he needs you, mm-hmm. he really needs you. Yeah. So. I would have to, you know, inshallah, one day I can find someone who's compatible, who's just as busy as me, Mm. (laughs) you know, and he's just like, oh, Somalia, she's just in that salon or whatever. But, um, mashallah, I'm, I'm patient, you know, for that. So I've learned a lot of lessons. I learned a lot of lessons and, um, it's just that it's just so beautiful. Allah is just so merciful for each and every one to have their own experiences you know through life so a lot of times being a hairstylist um women come into the salon and it's private and alhamdulillah for that they share and they share a lot and one thing that I'm glad that I'm able to do is tell them read your Quran you'll find the answers cry out to Allah, you'll find the answers. Sometimes sisters start to tell me stuff. I say, stop, (laughs) don't tell me anymore. Mm. I want you to go home. I want you to pray. I want you to cry out to Allah because Allah, Somalia is not going to be able to help you. Allah is going to be able to help you. 